It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to be breaking into this box that one of our viewers sent us. But before we do that, just want to remind you of the contest that runs till the end of July. You could win this box of 2122 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. I'm going to send this to you. I'm not going to break it on the channel. I'm just going to send you this box. Or you could win this lot of cards, which has eight hits in it. If you're interested in winning either of those, check out the details in the description below. So this package is from James Drule, I'm not sure, um, from Fall Creek, Wisconsin. So uh, let's get into it. I do mail day videos every so often, and there's always the, I know I'm really far behind on mail because I am. Got a bunch of plastic bags here for packing. We've got a note. We love the notes. It looks like, wow, looks like we've got an actual box in there. Let's make sure there is. All right, great day for hockey cards. Love your channel and all your content you share. I came across this lot of unopened boxes on Craigslist. They were $20 for four boxes. Well, you can't beat that nowadays. They might be the worst hockey cards ever made. However, they are unique and pretty scarce. They are just weird enough that I thought you would like them. I do love weird, weird, scarce products. You can complete a set with about half of the box. Thanks for all you do. And that's from James Jerule. Junior, uh, on YouTube, he's Fall Creek Collectibles, so give him a watch. Thank you very much, James. Um, let's check this out. So we have... I have not seen these anywhere before. It looks like Paul Korea on the, on the front there. Um, 1991 draft picks. We've got Sports Cards Ultimate Hockey... Extremely limited production, investment quality, random packaging. Anytime somebody's trying to hawk you a collectible as investment quality, just know when you're buying that that it is not investment quality. Um, all right, there's some of the example of what the cards look like. There's a, there's a goaltender on the back. Is that someone real? Do we know who that is? It's a, it's a. It's, it's a very startling thing to put on the back. Um, we're going to get six sports cards and one sweepstakes card per pack. And it doesn't say how many packs or there's no odds. It feels like one of those 90s boxes where there's 2,000 packs in it. But we'll see. If it gets super repetitive, we'll, we won't go all the way through it. 36. 36 packs in there. So, so remember... 36 packs, but where is it? Oh, I lost it. Extremely limited production. Investment quality. I like these already, by the way. <laughs> I don't make fun of them, but I love these cards already. Uh, cards, the uh, packs in there sideways. Nice foily packs. No odds anywhere. Let's just let's open up a few packs and see what we get. So this is a instant win sweepstakes. You could win wow, you could win five hundred autograph sets, five hundred sports action calendars, or a thousand sports posters. Is that what you win or you win one of the following? Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is no good anymore. Sent to Smokies Incorporated. I guess that's the company that made these. Trying to look on the rules. Request must be received by... See that down there? 1031.92. <laughs> we are... Uh, 30 years too late. Alright, well, we're not going to win the sweepstakes. Let's take a look at the cards. Pretty basic. Carry Torpor... Tor 
Toporowski. The font they used is abysmal. Uh, San Jose D. You get a little write up on the player. That's nice. There's a first round pick of a guy with an airbrush logo off his chest of Glenn Murray. We know who that is. The underdog. Are you going to have to flip all these over to see who they are? Yannick Perot. So these are unlicensed, you can tell, because that's that's the deal here, is that they probably got the NHLPA to sign off on them, but not the teams. So they airbrush the logos off, kind of like the Leaf products. Um, we've got Donovan Hextall from New Jersey. Looks like a deer caught in the headlights there. Got Scott Niedermeyer, Pat Falloon, and Scott Lachance. There's all three of them again. Investment quality. Just remember that. Extremely limited. There's Dodie Wood, Jason Cullimore, Marcus Nasland. There's Topopopkowski again. There's the first round pick of Glenn Murray again. Uh, there's Yannick Perot again. So, <laughs> half that pack was a duplicate. It's only the second pack we've opened. Interesting product, though. I love finding stuff like this on Craigslist or eBay or anywhere. I'm always looking for weird stuff that I haven't seen before. Overview. QMJHL, the UHL, and the WHL. Philippe Boucher, Graydon Reed. Oh, look at that sexy man there. Just <laughs> Scott Niedermeyer. Oh, first round pick. Who's that? Tyler Wright. And Michael Nylander. These are <laughs> these are actually a lot of fun. Mike Tor Torchia, Marcel Cosio, Cosono. Oh, there's another one. A sexy shot of Pat Falloon there. I guess who that is. That's that's also who apparently is on our box too. I was wrong when I said Paul Korea. There's Glenn Murray. He gets to keep his shirt on at least. I mean, come on, Philippe Boucher. Nicholas Sun Sunblad, Sunblad. Of course, if you're interested in any of these cards, these will all be up on my eBay store for unbelievably high prices due to the rarity. Uh, Marcus Nasland, I've got Patrick Poulin. Nicholas Sunblad, that's annoying that you got to flip it over to see who it is. Pro Set Platinum did that too. One of them got to keep their shirt on for that one. They really like Pat Falloon and Scott Niedermeyer. Jamie Pusher, checklist number two, because you need at least two checklists. Did anybody out there who's watching, has anybody actually opened this product, like, back when it came out? I'd never even heard of it. Offensive threat, Yannick Dupre. And Mikhail Needlander. There's Peter Forsberg. Oh, look, even for those, this is a special shoot, I'm guessing, just for these cards because it's got the Smokies logo on it. Bobby House. Jim Campbell. First round pick. Patrick Poulin and Yannick Dupre. Jason Daw. So another first round pick. That is Alex Stoyanov. Penguins fans know him. 
Richard Matvichuk. Yannick Perot, he got to keep his shirt on. Trevor Halverson. The Premier Edition highlights 35 young men. So there's only 35 players in this. I assume it's all the people they thought were going to go high in the draft. Jeff Nelson, Dean McCammond. Pat Falloon again. Dean McCammond. Oh, here's the here's that goalie face. Face the future. Oh, <laughs> don't tell me who that is. Maybe it's nobody. Scott Niedermeyer. If you're still watching this, congratulations. You like weird stuff as much as I do. Oh, there's Chris Osgood. We know him. Scott Lachance. Nathan Lafayette. There's another checklist. <laughs> oh, look at all, all who's in there. That's, oh, there they got... Who's that? Lachance. They got him mid-taking his shirt off, maybe. Eh? Sexy. Pat Peak. Let's do a couple more packs of these. Dodie Wood, Jason Cullimore, Marcus Nasland. There's Toperkowski again. Glenn Murray again. And the underdog, Yannick Perot. I'm definitely getting into doubles territory here. I'll probably actually put a set of these together if I actually get one out of the box. Marcus Nasland. There's Patrick Poulin. I should know these. Nicholas Sunblad. There's Niedermeyer and Falloon. Jamie Pusher. Our second checklist again. Let's do one more pack. We'll call it quits on Sports Cards Ultimate Hockey. Or is it Ultimate Sports Cards Hockey? The logo makes it hard to read. Jeff Nelson. Dean, Mc... Dean McCammond. Pat Falloon. I think we got like 12 of those already. Dean McCammond, Face the Future, and Scott Niedemar. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea. Make sure you check out James's YouTube channel, Fall Creek Collectibles. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I don't think I'm subscribed to that one. Uh, See if he's got more wacky stuff like this on there. But let me know what you think of Sports Cards Ultimate Hockey. Maybe whoever wins the contest, I'll throw a couple packs of these in there. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.